In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install multiple blogs on your account using a single database. Uh, but before I do that, let me show you a couple of other solutions for multiple blog hosting just so that you're aware of it. Or one other solution, I should say. Uh, if you're wanting to do this and, and do it on a larger scale uh, and allow users to create their own blogs, such as they do on WordPress.org and Blogger and so forth, then there's a site, uh, another WordPress program called WordPress MU or multi user. And you can get to the forums and the download site and the documentation and so forth at mu.wordpress.org. If you go there, there's a set of discussion forums similar to the WordPress forums, and there's a download to download a copy of WordPress multi user. If you download that and install, uh, then it's a much more powerful application for multi blog hosting. Uh, but one word of caution, I wouldn't recommend this for the faint of heart uh, unless you're really comfortable in uh, PHP, uh, server management, database management, uh, and just really, uh, for lack of a better phrase, I guess, a tech geek. I wouldn't recommend you jump into this uh, unless you're just going to jump into it to experiment with it. Uh, there's a lot that uh, a lot of skills involved in hosting a WordPress multi-user site. Uh, if you only want two or three or four or even 15 or 20 blogs, uh, you can easily set those up yourself with single installs of WordPress using one hosting account uh, with your single domain name and a single database if you want. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. But I just wanted to show you this does exist. I do use this program, have used it for couple of years on a site where I host teacher blogs. If you look here I have over 400 blogs hosted on this site and it works really well. Um, but uh, again that's uh, that's something that's available. Now in order to set up multiple blogs on your account of course you've got to set up your first blog to start with. Uh, so if you have one blog set up and running on your account then you can use that to as a template essentially uh, to create multiple blogs off of that using the same database. If you don't know how to set up that first blog, then you may want to come to my site here. It's educhalk.org. We'll bring you here. Uh, and either search for or just look uh, in the tags and click on install. And I have a video here showing you how to install uh, WordPress. So once you get your first copy of WordPress installed with your database created and it running fine and all of that, then all you need to do to get additional blogs set up is to go to your site however you um, get to your site through FTP or uh, cPanel file manager or whatever you, know, you use um, and look at your file structure. So I'll go to my site here where I have this blog set up. If you look here at heraldleader.org I have a blog set up on blog and it's this one I just use it for testing purposes. Now if I go here in the URL and I type blog2 and hit enter notice it takes me to a second blog so I have a second blog set up on the same site. The first one is called blog1 or excuse me the first one is called blog and the second one I just named blog2. When I look at my file structure on that site go to public HTML there's blog and there's block two. So they're just separate WordPress installs setting in public HTML. If I click on blog, there's the complete set of WordPress files. And if I click on blog two, here's a complete set of WordPress files. If I want to create another blog, it's very easy just to take one of the existing blogs and copy the entire directory uh, into the public HTML and just give it a different name. Uh, and then go in and make one change in the config file to set up a brand new blog. So to do that, I could do it here in this FTP, but it takes five or six minutes to copy files through FTP. So I'm just going to go uh, for now the same site and log into my cPanel because it's just faster for demonstration purposes here in the video. Uh, go to File Manager. And now I'm looking at the same thing, public HTML here with blog and blog2 in my file manager. And typically what I do here, if I want to copy an entire directory of files, is I'll come in here uh, and I'll make a new folder. 
leave it in public HTML and call it anything. I just do AA and that puts it at the top. And now I'm going to copy blog. I select blog and I uh, copy that, click on copy, into public HTML slash AA directory. Copy. And the reason I do that, I can't copy blog out in public HTML because I can't copy it with the same name. But if I put in AA, then I can click on there and there's a copy of blog. And then in AA, I just click on blog and I name that anything I want. So if I want my blog URL to be uh, heraldleader.org slash Steve, I name it to Steve. And then once it's renamed, I select it and I move it back out uh, to public HTML. So just let me show you here. Just click on the move icon, come down, and you want to move it back out to public HTML. Take the AA off. It moves it out of AA, and now it's in public HTML called Steve. Okay. When I'm done, I'm done with that AA folder. I can delete it. I just used it as a sort of a temporary holder. So now I have a copy of blog in another directory called Steve. Now, of course, I could have uploaded the, the source code again, but there's no need to do that. So I could do that 20 times if I want to. And then all I need to do with all of my copies that I've made out here, I'm going to go back to my um, sort of FTP manager here because it's just easier. Come back out to my new blog that I've created, Steve. Click on it. There's all my source code. If you wanted to set up a new database, you could, but you don't need to. We're going to use the same database. I'm just going to open the config file in my new blog. And of course, that config file contains all the information for my uh, previous blog, my blog that was just called blog. I'm going to leave all that information here as far as database and user and everything the same. But I'm going to go down and for the table prefix, I'm going to give it a different uh, name. And I might just come here and call the prefix Steve. So what's going to result here when I save this and then visit the site, it's not going to see that the blog is set up in that database because I have a different set of prefixes for the tables and it's going to set up a complete new set of tables in that same database for this blog. And those tables will be appended with Steve and that way in the future when I open that database and look I will know what tables belong to this blog if I do sort of a logical naming there. So I'm going to save that uh, config file, that change, close it. That's all I need to do uh, to um, get the new blog there. Now I just simply go to my uh, go to my site and type in the URL, hit enter. It doesn't recognize a blog exists. I'll give it a title. Put in an email address and click install WordPress. And it installs the blog and should be able to go to it and log in and have a complete new blog on the, the, your same account in a separate subdirectory and using the same database. So you see here now I have Steve's blog. If I go back up, I also still have blog and I still have blog too. So I have three blogs on that account now. If I wanted to, I could put several here. Uh, so it's just an easy way if you only want uh, two or three blogs or a dozen or two, you can just do multiple installs like this and make it uh, uh, pretty easy and just use one database for all of them.